So just when it seems like COVID is almost over, just when it seems like COVID is almost over, you get a second wave in, in some places. In particular, I'm actually thinking about India and how they're dealing with, with a pretty like heinous and horrible second wave of the, the, the COVID epidemic right now and how, I don't know, from the videos, it looks pretty bad. It looks like if you're there, you would just see you know, just on, on, on in so many of the cities, like just people passing out and and um, and um, you know dying on the streets, and, and that seems pretty awful. Um, so, according to reports of all the various media outlets, it seems as if like their like their government is like pushing down information about how bad, how many deaths they really have. And that whatever it says, whatever their official death amount is, like 300,000 or something, supposedly that's supposed to be a huge um, underestimation of what it is. Probably because they're so freaked out, maybe embarrassed about it. I mean, nothing like this ever happened before in the world. So um, they're probably, you know, out of fear, out of a sense of just not wanting to look like they don't know what they're doing. They, so they just, that's probably what's going on. and. Yeah, so supposedly, according to you know the various outlets, that the, the the rate of what they the rate of death is probably like ten times the amount that they're actually saying it is, which is horrible. Um, but yeah, I mean, if the world realized that, we, we would all be freaked out with them. And but but you know maybe that would be better because then you could ask for more support, legitimately ask for support if 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 you just if they just you know say that it's it's um, as as they have as many deaths as they do. In any case, so my task here isn't to talk about um, the, the COVID um, crisis in India um, because I, I'm not there. So, um, you know, the focus is just to talk about the value of healthcare careers in general. Um, I made a video about this um, last year. I And it's just so funny because what happened in that was I was saying that, well, what happens if, you know, we have another epidemic and all the hospitals are overcrowded and you have to be the one to help your loved ones and things like that. I had said that, but you know, I would said that not trying to be prophetic or anything like that or not trying to, but just kind of imagining that like, you know, that, that would be the worst case scenario. Like, like if it was so bad that, that there were no, you know, the hospitals were so, but apparently the reason why I started talking about India is because apparently that's what's going on. That, that is that a lot, the hospitals are full everywhere, all, no beds anywhere that, a lot of substantial amount of people are just taking care of their loved ones at home. So whether they have medical training or not, they're just doing the best they can. So I just wanted to use that to kind of talk about for the year 2021. Again, as I thought, um, I had talked about before that the, the you know healthcare careers are just so valuable because there's you're never going to regret having somebody in the family that you can call when all the professionals all at the hospitals and at every the community and everywhere else are busy with so many people that they can't not that they don't care about you but they they they, they can't even reach you that you're never gonna that it's such a good thing it's such a good. Um, career to invest in. So if somebody is like graduating high school right now, or even graduating college right now, um, you know, because this, one of the best things to really think about is, is possibly, you know, invest some of your energy in trying to get you or somebody in your family to become, you know, to develop their um, something in, in the healthcare field that will enable them to, to be helpful to their family in the case of, of anything, in the case of a a crisis of, of proportions that you know that we have yet to see I'm not saying that that will happen but uh, you know it's always possible and, and when something happens you always have to take lessons you ever have to take lessons from 2020 what are the lessons you you've taken from it that's you know that's why God lets things happen sometimes and you can't just be like oh whew, that was over yes it was over but what did you learn from it you know so anyway so that's that's my point is just to encourage in my family most um I think <laughs> Out of like four out of the, it's me and I have four. There's four kids and my parents, right? So in the family I grew up, grew up in, um, out of all of us, um, there's only two of us that don't have any sort of um, that haven't done anything in the healthcare field at all. So um, that means four out of the six of us have. Um, my kids, they're too, they're too young to. It's not relevant, but yeah. So in the family I grew up in, we have a lot of. Um, a lot of people invest in, uh, in healthcare professions, and so I just I just wanted to um, just really mention that because watching all those people just like not be able to do anything 
watching all the hospitals not be able to do anything for those people and then having to rely on loved ones and friends just in their community to help them was like, wow, what if, you know, I mean, just imagine a situation where something like that happened that's pretty crazy. And even one of the, um, and in one of the, you know, news stories, one, uh, there was a doctor that could not get a bed in his own hospital because all the VIPs um, had taken up all the beds, which is really funny because if you don't take care of the doctors, then who's going to take care of the, you know, the millionaires and bill who are paying for it like if you yeah so anyway so yeah i just i just thought it would be something to um to remind people of that if you're graduating and you're working on just choosing a career that that um you're never going to regret like investing your energy in something in, in the in the healthcare profession because it'll always make you um an invaluable asset to those around you and also you know they make pretty good income too <laughs> all right that's it